61A lecture number one, the very first video of fall 2017. Before I get started, let me say a word about these videos. This course enrollment is very large, and one way we manage that enrollment is by creating these videos, which cover all lecture content for the entire course and will be released before lecture happens live. That means if you choose to watch videos instead of coming to live lecture, you won't be behind. Instead, you could be slightly ahead of the rest of the class, and you won't miss anything. Live lectures are a fine way to explain something to somebody else, but they're not perfect. Sometimes they go too slowly, sometimes too quickly. Sometimes people listening to the lecture will think about something else for just a minute, miss something important, and then be confused for the rest of the lecture. Videos fix many of these problems. You can pause, you can rewind, you can make me talk faster or slower as you wish. In past offerings of this course, most students have decided that the videos are preferable to coming to live lecture. You'd think with all these advantages, maybe everyone watches the videos. Well, that's not true. Some students really just prefer the live experience. So you'll have to try both and see what works best for you. I suggest coming to the first lecture, maybe the first few, and see if you like it, then decide whether you want to watch the videos or come to lecture. You could even switch off between the two. But I will guarantee you that if you watch the videos instead of coming to live lecture, you won't miss anything. If you're planning to attend live lecture one, then you don't need to watch the rest of the videos in this playlist because they will be identical to what is said in lecture one. So if you're going to live lecture one, stop watching this video now. Still here? I guess that means that you're interested in watching the videos for this lecture. Let's get started. Welcome to CS 61A. This semester is special because for the first time in recent history, you'll have two instructors instead of one. My name is John De Niro. I'll be one of your instructors. I've been teaching this course for a while. Before that, I was a research scientist at Google, working on Google Translate. And I continue to do research that's focused on getting computers to do interesting things with text. You can come visit me in office hours if you're interested in learning about research, you have questions about the course, questions about life, or anything else. Uh, starting next week, I'll hold office hours on Wednesday and Thursday, or if you need an individual appointment with me, go to denero.org meet.html. In addition, Professor Hilfinger will be co-teaching the course with me. He was the one who brought this course to Berkeley in the first place. And uh, I think we've never had an opportunity to teach together. We're both really excited about that. He'll have office hours starting next week as well in his office down the hall from mine at a time to be determined. We'll make sure to post that on the course website, cs61a.org. You could email us individually, but it's almost always better to reach us via Piazza, the course forum. So make sure that you enroll in Piazza and you can make a private post just to the instructors if you ever want to reach us. You can also email cs61a at berkeley.edu to reach both of us and some heads of staff. Professor Hilfinger and I don't teach this course alone. Instead, we are supported by a huge team of teaching staff that are excited about working with you this semester. We have 53 teaching assistants, formerly known at Berkeley as UGSIs. These folks will be teaching your lab and discussion sections, holding office hours, and lots of other stuff. They help us build assignments, grade exams, and organize the course. These folks have often been teaching the course in some capacity for multiple semesters, and they've shown that they've gotten not only good at it, but dedicated to student education. In addition, we have more than 50 tutors and mentors. These are going to teach mentoring sections, small group sections with four or five students and a member of the course staff that go over key concepts, work through interesting problems, 
and are generally there to help you master the material. None of you are enrolled yet in a mastery in a mentoring section because uh, we do enrollment later on in the semester. It's optional, but it's a good idea to participate in these small group sections so that you can make sure you get your questions answered. So keep an eye out on Piazza and we'll announce that in the next couple of weeks. They will also be there to hold office hours and lots of other stuff. We'll have homework parties, mastery sections, etc. All of that will get announced later on in the course once things get rolling. In addition, we have more than 200 academic interns that will serve as assistants in your lab sections. They'll help you answer individual questions and help you check your progress so that you make sure you're not falling behind or missing anything critical as you learn the material in this course. So that's the course staff. In addition, a key part of the 61A community are your fellow students. There are over 1,900 people who have expressed interest in, either in taking this course by enrolling or being on the wait list. And I think you'll learn a lot from these folks. Obviously, you won't get to know all of them, but an important part in getting to started in computer science is to form a community that you're going to learn with and uh, your fellow students that you'll meet in lab and discussion and office hours are a great way to get that process started. So here are the parts of the course. There's lecture. We do hold live lecture. You're welcome to come. You don't have to. Instead, you could watch videos, which will be posted to cs61a.org and will always be posted before the live lecture. Like I said before, I'm going to guarantee you that all of the important content from live lecture will be in the videos. So you will not miss anything by watching videos instead of attending live lecture. The place where you'll have direct interaction with course staff so that you can get your questions answered is in lab. And that's really the most important part of this course. In lab, you're going to be writing programs. Writing programs is not easy. It takes a lot of practice. And by coming to lab section, you'll be doing that in a place where you can ask questions, either of the course staff or your fellow students, and thereby make faster progress. You'll also have discussion section every week. This is the most important part of the course, and it starts this week. So make sure you attend the discussion section in which you are enrolled. Discussion section is a chance for you to work on problem solving related to computer science without relying on a computer to give you feedback. Instead, you'll have to think through the problems using pencil and paper, which is a wonderful way to become a more effective programmer and computer scientist. It's also a great opportunity to meet your peers and work in groups. We'll also hold drop-in office hours throughout the week, starting next week. This is probably the most important part of the course. In office hours, you can come in and ask individual questions about the homework, about topics in discussion, or topics in lecture, or anything in life that you want to talk about. And the purpose of office hours is primarily to make sure that you get individualized feedback about your progress, um, especially as it relates to assignments you're working on. Now, you may have noticed that I mentioned three different things as the most important part of the course. It really depends from student to student where they get the most benefit. So you'll have to come to all of these, figure out what works best for you, and then you'll know what's really the most important part of the course. There's also an online textbook. I recommend reading that. Some students like to read it before lecture. Some students like to read it after lecture. Most students find that it's useful if they bother to read it. So I strongly recommend that you try that out. We will have weekly homework assignments, three exams, and four programming projects. This is a lot of work, but we're going to design this course such that if you put in sufficient effort, you can make progress on all of these. We don't want people to fall behind or to fail to complete the work. Instead, our goal as instructors, and this is a goal shared by the entire course staff, is to make sure that if you work on these many assignments with sufficient time in order to complete them, that we will support you in getting them done by helping review key concepts, even giving you direct feedback on how to make progress. So this course can be overwhelming, but as long as you seek support from the 61A community, you'll find that you can make progress and you shouldn't get stuck for too long.